ABC News called me this week and said, uh, we heard that you um, believe that men should be in charge of their wives. I says, no, sir. No, sir, I didn't say that. I said, God said that. He said, husbands are the head of the wife. I said, you got a problem with what I said. I'm quoting the Bible. Maybe I'll take it up with God. He says, do you, do you think that's appropriate? I said, son, I says, anything God says is appropriate, and you better get that straight right now. I never apologize for standing where God stands. I never worry standing where God stands. Somebody says, you know what they're going to say about you? <sighs> Who cares? Stand in line, pick a number, slob. Get your little squirt gun out and squirt away. Bigger things to worry about. Heaven, hell, life, death. The Bible, what people say about you, not at all. If they're quoting me while I'm quoting the Bible, hallelujah, God's word is getting out. Don't you ever worry about your pastor being rattled or worried or unsettled or unnerved. I sleep fine. Too many people worried about uh, 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 somebody the other day asked me, they, uh, this, this reporter, he said, um, I heard that you... Um, you wouldn't, that it'd be a cold day in hell before you get your theology from a woman. He says, don't you kind of think that's demeaning to the genders? I says, ask Adam what he thought about getting his theology from a woman. I said, it damned the whole world. I says, the reason your soul, sorry, soul's going to hell is because a woman told Adam what God thinks about things. He says, you're pretty strong about what you believe. I said, not half as strong as what God knows you ought to believe. I wouldn't get my theology from a woman. I don't mind if mama teaches the kids. I don't mind if a strong lady and a wise woman and a gracious, godly woman uh, follows the, takes the lesson from the pastor. Hey, oh, you listen to me right now? I still believe it'd be a cold day in hell before I get my theology from a woman. I'm a preacher. I, I wasn't mama called, papa sent. No woman ever got me involved in ministry. I didn't follow a woman in the ministry. A woman didn't write this book. Not one woman wrote the scriptures right here. A man wrote the Bible, got it from God. A man hung on the cross. His name is Jesus Christ. And God called a man to lead the church here. Hey, I'm glad I'm a man. So many of you got nervous. Saw so the preacher on the news. Praise the Lord. The word of God is being quoted. More than some of you are doing about getting the word of God out. I don't care about being politically correct. I don't care who had hair lips. I don't care if it bothers everybody from the White House or old man sitting in the outhouse. I want to know what's going on in the church house, and I'm the messenger of the church, and what I say is more important than what the news reporter thinks I ought to say. God didn't call him to tell me what to do, and God didn't call anybody else either. You know, if that's arrogant, so be it. The, the, the problem is it's the truth in the scriptures here. 